Hi, welcome to this live recorded video. And in this live recorded video, I'm actually going to measure the hotness of some chilies. So in front of me, I've got a um, bowl of um, chilies. It is hard to sometimes source um, fresh chilies where I am. So I've done essentially my best. The only thing I've done to these chilies, let's say, is um, I've cut the um, stalks off them because the stalks essentially contain um, no capsaicin. Um, but uh, what I'll be doing in this particular video is actually measuring the um, hotness of the chilies by measuring the um, capsaicin in them and we'll be giving the result in Scoville heat units. Um, the device I'll be using this morning is the FoodSense Generation 4. Um, so the FoodSense Generation 4 you can find it at FoodSense Technology. If you've got any questions you can essentially reach out to us um, here. With that said let me kind of um, I'm going to be preparing the sample in real time now, so rather than talk, I'll just get on with it. Okay, so I've got a bowl of um, chilies here. I'll tip them into this little um, ninja um, food blender. There's nothing super special about this guy. Um, I will pour everything in. Um, and I'm just going to put this bowl out my way so that I don't essentially get, I clear it out of the way. All right, so I've got that in there. In fact, I haven't even tried to um, make sure this thing turns on this morning, but anyway, that said. All right, so let me just press. Um, All right, so I'll just give that a quick look into that. Okay, not too bad. Um, and I have my, let's say, chili samples. Now, this is not the world's best way of doing this, but I'm doing a sort of essentially a live um, demo. I might even, if these were a bit fresher, I think these would have actually um, broken up a little bit better than this. Um, now what I'll do then is I will um, just turn on my balance. All right, so I've turned on my balance. I will take some of this. All right, so that's gone over. I'm really just looking for about um, 0.1 grams. I don't really want to be handling all this now, but um, I'm doing this demo almost, you know, live. So I'll be doing things that I don't really want to do. Um, but just for the kind of consistency of the video, um, I will do those things. Um, so I'm just kind of trying to get out a bit of, um, let's say, chilly um, uh, material. And I'll get out a bit more. So I'm just trying to get to about um, 0 0.1 grams. Um, if these chilies were a bit fresher, the um, I think this would have actually cut them up a little bit, um, a little bit smaller. I don't like using my fingers like I am. I'm getting close now, so just about eight milligrams off what I'm actually looking for. Again, I'd also um, you've got to be a little bit careful because you know just the kind of vapor that kind of comes off at this point, you know, it, it can be a little bit um, pungent. Um, so be a little bit careful when doing this. All right, I'm actually gonna tear this with my fingers just because I wanna be quick for the video. Uh, yeah, okay, that just about brings me to 100, um, 100 um, milligrams, right. So I can sort of essentially put that away for now to give myself a bit more space. All right, so I've got some chili material um, here. I've weighed it out. I can feel the chilies. Um, what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to... Now I'm doing this faster than I would really want to do it. Um, but I'm going to take this now and... I'm just being. A, I'm just trying to get this into this tube, so I'm using my fingers more than I would really want to, but I'm also trying to be fast so that the video is is watchable, if I can put it that way. Okay, cool. All right. So I've got my chili material in there. I'm just going to put it down gently for a second because I want to. Um, 
put 900 microliters um, into there as well. So I'm just going to add nine of these just real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, so I've done that. I'm just going to vortex this up um, on my vortexer here. So you would never be able to shake this at the kind of um, speeds that this vortexer actually is working at. So I might actually do this for quite, I might actually do this for about a minute. So I'll, sort of, I'll, quickly, I'll quickly count up to a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Now I might really have wanted to do that for a bit longer, um, but I'm trying to make a, you know, a watchable video and show you the kind of um, principles here. So I've got my um, chili in there, I've been vortexing it. Um, what I'm gonna do is I've got my, I'll take my chili sensor, I'll put it onto my food sensor generation four. I'm just gonna get this balance out of the way so I've got a bit more um, space. I'll bring the app into here. Um, I'm just gonna make sure I name it in the app so I can find the data. So I'll just call this whole chilies. Now I'm gonna call it whole chilies um, and I'm gonna call it um, 10 because I've only done what's really a one in 10 dilution. And I will go um, one, I'll come back now. Right, so I've done that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to very quickly, um, just quick vortex, just before I go, right. Now I'm going to take 50 microliters and I'll put it onto the um, sensor. Right, so I've added 50 microliters. I'll go continue. Um, I'll choose the one in 10 and I'll start the measurement. Okay, so I can immediately see that there's actually quite a lot of chili in there because there's a flat line here. Now, again, I'm not expecting people to, in this web, in this video, I'm not, let's say, teaching the science of this, but I could see that kind of flat line um, was in there. So it was actually quite intense, but I'm just gonna go up and check um, the signal. So let me just change screens for one second um, and go to something called um, Julie. I'm just going to go in and find my data and then I can go whole chilies and I can see my um, data. That's quite intense actually because it's um, it's, um, I can see these kind of flat lines here, but it didn't actually throw an, an error as such. So if I hold up my, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab my, um, um, I'm just gonna grab this for a second. So I'll show you what it says. So what happens here then is, um, this gives me a result. So I've got a Scoville heat unit here of 8,290, but then I can also, see my data up in the cloud as well and I could see that it was actually when I say intense it's because I've only done what's called a 1 in 10 dilution but I'll just share that with you so I can see my um, the good thing about this then is I can see my this is my data <coughs> this is my time this is my date this is my operator this is my raw signal this is my result if I so wish I can actually download um, a PDF and sort of save this on my server, etc., so that I actually I've got you know a sort of um, uh, analysis report um, of this as well, and I can save that as well. So what I've done this morning then is a live. Um, I took the chilies. I only took the stalks off them because I knew there was no capsaicin in there. I blended it up quite quickly. I weighed out 0 0.1 grams. I've diluted that into 0 0.9 milliliters of buffer. 
I can actually see it's quite intense, but it did pass the sort of, it didn't ask me to do a further dilution, so it just about passed. And I've come in with 8,285 Scoville heat units. And I've done that all faster than I normally would, but I just wanted to kind of make it a um, demonstration video so that people understand what the workflow uh, looks like. So if you've got any questions for food sense duration four, um, I would say don't hesitate to um, contact us. Um, okay, thanks very much.